Look supplies customers around the globe with advanced vehicle drivetrain systems and components. Actos delivered blast machines suitable for the processing of small parts that are handled as bulk material. Most recently, it was the TS-150 drum blast machine we're watching in a test run today. The design of the drum blast machine is particularly well suited for the processing of small parts. The small diameter of the holes in the drum, 4mm wide holes as shown here, enable the processing of extremely small workpieces. As soon as the trial runs have yielded the appropriate parameters, the system is integrated into the production sequence. This system is used for shop peening transmission components. The surface hardness of the material is an essential factor in determining the overall quality. Die äh, Actos Strahlanlagen haben sich über die letzten Jahre bei uns im Unternehmen äh, Look GmbH etabliert, weshalb wir mittlerweile die dritte Strahlanlagen in unserem Fertigungssegment im Einsatz haben. Ja. Ähm, könnten Sie uns vielleicht etwas zum Programm der Anlage sagen? Ja, mache ich natürlich gerne. Wunderbar. Wir haben hier an dem Panel verschiedene Einstellungen. Neu an der Anlage, natürlich sind auch hier wieder weitere Innovationen eingegangen, haben wir hier eine, eine Schnecke, die permanent dreht, sodass das Strahlgut nach der Separierung leicht an das Becherwerk eingefördert werden kann. Okay. Des Weiteren können wir hier verschiedene Programme auswählen, indem wir die Prozessparameter entsprechend anpassen können. Derzeit auf 1000 Umdrehungen pro Minute eingestellt, bei einer Bearbeitungszeit von 10 Minuten. The processing sequence within the Actos system is as follows. The small parts arrive as a bulk batch via conveyor belt at the feeder from the upstream processing station. The maximum filling capacity is 250 kilograms. We're only watching a small quantity here for the trial run. An Almond gauge is automatically introduced once the preset weight has been reached. Each batch is logged and the measuring results obtained with the aid of almond strips are used to document the effectiveness of the actual blasting process. The feeder is now moving up to the drum. The drum is tilted forward for the filling process and already set in rotation. The blade side of the shop blasting turbine is visible in this position behind and above the drum. This is an Actos high performance 15 kilowatt input power turbine. The abrasive hopper is located directly above the turbine. A magna valve shop flow controller is installed for metering purposes and it determines the flow rate with the aid of a magnetic field. This value is stored in the relevant shop blast program and can be followed in real time on the display. Immediately following the loading process, the drum is moved into blasting position. The blast chamber is also closed as part of this process. All surfaces in the effective turbine range are made of wear-resistant X120MN12 or stenitic manganese steel. During the shop peening process, the workpieces are continuously turned due to the rotation of the drum. The control cabinet accommodates the system controller and the PLC for the programs to be saved. A fan generates the negative pressure required for continuous dust extraction from the blast chamber, thereby moving the waste air to be cleaned to a lamella filter. Upon completion of the blasting procedure, a cleaning phase follows where the fine abrasive is removed from the drum and the very small workpieces. The dust is separated via jets of compressed air and collected in the collecting tanks installed underneath, which can be easily emptied. The blast chamber is then opened and the drum is moved down for emptying purposes. The inner drum surfaces are designed to ensure that the drum can be completely emptied, which is very important here, considering the small size of parts being processed and the fact that no batch may be mixed with another one. Look had a monitor installed beside the control cabinet for inspection purposes, which now shows an empty steel drum. 
The shot blasted parts are conveyed to the batch filling station via a vibration extraction trough. This is where it's further ensured that the workpieces are free of abrasive. A chute with pneumatic baffles is used to move the abrasive material into a bulk material container and, upon reaching a specified fill level, into another second bulk material container. These drums are used as transfer containers and buffer containers by all production stations. The used steel shot is in constant circulation. The recovery funnel below the blast chamber is used to move the used and dusty material via a screw conveyor to the bucket conveyor. Upon reaching the cleaning station at the top, the abrasive is air washed and cleaned of dust and undersized particles. This waste air is also routed to the Sinta lamella filter. We are proud at Actos to be able to do our share to ensure perfect interaction within the production chain of technically innovative products. It's quite possible that you too are moved by a vehicle equipped with look drive components.